Find the top here, he guarantee himself uh, at least second place on the lead, and that might well be enough. Today has gone better than he surely would have dreamed when he went to bed last night. Somehow high risk up there, hold 28 there. I mean, Chip and Adam has found himself in the head wall after only two minutes of climbing. Could be absolutely crucial. He looks like he's got some gas left, but these moves are so tenuous, they're so tiring. Your arms do not get to rest. You've got to trust your feet. There's a lot of funky movements. And Adam's foot slips. That's a new high point for Alex Megos. He's the first climber to reach that 33rd hole. Grimace on his face. Alex Megos is giving this route absolutely everything he's got. Tiny red crimp with the left hand, then come back to the big red dish. Alex Megos, what can he do in Hachioji 2019? He has an absolutely massive opportunity. Adam Ondra got to hole 34 and moved off it, ended up with a score of 34 plus. If he can get anywhere near the last five moves of this route, he is going to be crowned world champion in really only his second year of competition climbing. So uh, Adam Ondra, he gave us one of the greatest moments in IFSC history in the Paris 2016 World Championships. Last climber out, last events of the competition, topped the route, knocked it out of the park. Can he do the same again? Just watch the speed of Adam Andre as he works his way through these moves. Well known for his really fast climbing. Climbers to watch Adam Andre, it's almost robotic. Left leg, right leg, left hand, right hand. Every the moves just keep coming. Perfect. Yeah, keep coming. Immense accuracy, but combined with immense speed. Alex goes up now with the right hand onto the first of the ice cream cones. Gets the clip done early. Wise stuff from Alex Megos.
just your holds. Slippy on the white bits, useful on the black bits. Now he's crossing under, that's 33. Can he get one more move? That's 34, Adam Andra's in the lead. Pressure is immense here. This is where Adam Andra, that, that style that he has of just really sprinting through hard sequences is really going to work for him, I think. It's been really enjoyable to watch the uh, evolution of Alex Magos from outdoor climber having a crack at competitions to uh, winning a World Cup last year in Briançon. Yeah. It's a route that's got very powerful hard moves but it's interspersed with some relatively okay rests. Adam Ondra is now uh, four and a half minutes away from concluding it. How will it conclude? Very difficult position to hang on to. And then goes inverted. And chalks up midway through as well for extra style points. The tension really building here into the head wall. Adam Andre taking a long rest here. He's, he's earned that rest so he's climbed so quickly. dynamically with the right hand and again go up with the right hand dynamically you can just see from the look on his face how hard he's having to work cuts loose And feet slip just as he tries to get on top of the black volume. That's where Alex Megos fell. If Adam Andre can latch that hold, he'll win the competition on countback. It'd be great to see him top the route though. Andre top the route. He's got plenty of time. Has he got plenty of energy? Has he read it right? He is not. <laughs> 